Welcome to this video from Learn Electrics about Amendment 2 of the Wiring Regulations BS 7671 18th edition. In these short videos we will concentrate on just one of the changes that Amendment 2 has undergone. The logic behind this is that it is easier to absorb and retain new information in short concentrated bursts. This video is just about the changes to the certificates and forms that are used to certify electrical work or report on the condition of an installation during a periodic inspection. We will begin by looking at the changes to the Electrical Installation Certificate or EIC. Then we will move on to the changes that have been made to the schedule of test results. And finally we will show you where to download a free printable PDF of all the forms and certificates that can be used for your own business, the so-called model forms. So let's begin with the Electrical Installation Certificate. The second page of the EIC now contains the schedule of inspections. Previously this was a two-page form in its own right, but has now been condensed down to just 14 tick boxes on the EIC itself. There is no longer a requirement for the customer to receive the full two-page schedule of inspections with an electrical installation certificate. Although there is no longer a requirement to give the customer a schedule of inspections, we should still use the full schedule of inspections ourselves when carrying out an inspection as an aid memoir before ticking the 14 boxes on page 2 of the EIC. So. Only the 14 tick boxes on page 2 of the EIC are required to be completed by the inspector or tester. But with an Electrical Installation Condition Report or EICR, the customer must still receive the full two-page schedule of inspections. The schedule of test results now has a second page called Schedule of Circuit Details. This has come about because the boxes were becoming too small to legibly enter data about the circuit. The number of columns are almost the same, just a couple of additions, but the space in which to enter data is enlarged. The first page is the generic schedule of circuit details. This is information about the installation that we can gather without using a test meter. All the things that we already know about the installation from observation, inspection or from reference to data tables. The second page is the generic schedule of test results, all the things that we can find by testing or calculation. A change here is that for RCDs we only now record a times one test result with a maximum tripping time of 300 milliseconds for a pass. There is no longer a requirement for a half times test or a five times test, but we should always consider these when fault finding. Some newer test meters have the ability to select different types of RCD when the test current will be slightly above 1 at 1 1.4 times, but they still have the same 300 millisecond maximum tripping time for a pass. And finally, all the model forms or certificates can be found on the IET website. These are free to use for your own business and can be accessed by entering the web address shown below into your web browser. When the page opens, you will find that you have a choice of downloading individual sets of forms or you can download all the forms as one PDF file. This is my preference. I can save the full PDF to my computer and print off just the forms that I need as I need them. And we will also put a link to the model forms in the description to this video. Well, that is it for this short video on Amendment 2 of the Wiring Regulations and we hope that you have found it useful. There are many more video shorts being prepared, each dealing with just one specific part of the regulations or block of information. Thank you for watching this video, it is very much appreciated. Please subscribe to our channel to get access to all of our videos and remember to click on notify to be sure of not missing our next video. Here are some tips on getting even more information and help out of learnelectrics.com. At your web browser, enter learnelectrics.com into the search bar. Select learnelectrics.com from the choices offered and the website, as shown, will open up for you. You now have a couple of choices. 
You can search for a help item or any video by entering a keyword into the search bar on the right. Click on Return and all the help files and videos with that word in the title will be listed for you. They will be shown with a short description and each video listed will have a link shown that will take you directly to that exact YouTube video. Or you can browse through a list of all the available items and videos. To do this, click on the LE logo on the top left of the home page and all our items and videos will be shown. There will be 10 items shown on each page and at the bottom of each page is a page selector. Page 2, page 3 and so on that will bring up the next 10 items or videos in the list. And don't forget that you can also type in Learn Electrics, all one word, into the YouTube search bar to go directly to our channel at any time from any computer. We are constantly adding new videos to our channel. Don't miss the next one. Once again, thanks for watching and we hope to see you again very soon.